When Lions Roar is about the Churchills and the Kennedys, it's a story that's been hiding in plain sight for 50 years. You may ask yourself, why hasn't this been told before? It's very simple, because in a way, they didn't want it to be told. This book is about great men and their sons, uh, the Churchills and the Kennedys, and also about the women who love them, the women who not only married to them, but a lot of the independent-minded women that were a big part of their lives. When Lions Roar contains one of the great untold political scandals of the 20th century. It involves the families of two presidents as well as a future prime minister. This is a deal that took place with the end of Prohibition in which Joe Kennedy was looking to make a fortune by selling liquor to America. So he goes over to Britain and he makes a deal to import liquor to the United States. He does so with the help of Winston Churchill and also the son of President Roosevelt, James Roosevelt. Jimmy Roosevelt winds up getting the insurance contracts. Joe makes a fortune from the liquor deal. And Winston, very surprisingly, finds himself with a lucrative amount of stock in two companies that Joe Kennedy controlled. Another untold story in When Lions Roar was something that really surprised Winston in 1947. Came over here to America, and what he said was that America should consider dropping the atomic bomb on the Kremlin, mainly because he was concerned that the Soviet Union would be just as bad as the Nazis, and if we didn't act now, we may not be able to do so once the Soviets had their own bomb. So he said this to a senator on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and that senator reported it to the FBI. I found that conversation, the contents of that conversation with Churchill and the atom bomb in Winston's own FBI file. When Lions Roar is about fathers and sons and the sense of greatness and about wanting to leave a legacy for generations to come.